So you might be trying to figure out how you can pair up your Xbox One controller to your specific Mac. Now doing this with any Mac is very basic, it really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your Apple logo on the top left corner. You want to go and click on System Preferences and you want to go and make your way over to your Bluetooth connection settings. So you should be able to see Bluetooth right here. Now if you have the latest macOS update, you should still be able to see Bluetooth but it looks more like your iPhone panel. Now when you come into this panel, you're pretty much almost done. Now what you want to do on your Xbox One controller is you want to hold down two buttons. You want to hold down the Xbox button at the front and you want to hold up the share button or the sync button that's at the very top at the same time. Now when you do this, this controller is going to start blinking rapidly like the little white light on the front. So you might just want to go and just hold it down for a few more seconds until the light on the front starts blinking. And you can see once it starts blinking like this, that means it's in pairing mode. And you will automatically see the Xbox actually come up right here. So all you're going to want to do here is go and click on connect. And once it's connected, this light will stop blinking. And you will see that this controller should now be configured and you should be able to use this controller now on your specific Xbox in your Mac. So, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you make your way over to your games or whatever, you can play it. You will have to probably map this controller to certain buttons if you're playing it on an emulator. Also, if you're playing a certain game, you may have to restart that game to make sure that the controller is, you know, discoverable. But, and that's pretty much it. If you want to disconnect it, you can just click here. You just click on the options button and you should be able to disconnect it or something like that even by clicking the X button. But that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.